So we have true love, trust, worth waiting for. So I'm feeling this energy. You have someone who is definitely in your energy. Because if I'm picking up this single energy for you, yeah, let your friends help you separation. So um maybe the interference i need maybe there is like a blockage maybe you keeping yourself distracted i also feel when i get this let your friends help you as guides your guys are trying to keep you protected so um not going back to old patterns uh you may have someone i don't know this trust here is is what i'm um what I'm questioning for some of you now maybe some of you have met someone new as well so this is about just trusting and the worth waiting for just trusting the process that she'll meet someone new um, as you're standing in this great energy that I, I did feel for you so let's see what's going on here I think you guys are just needing to be more cautious all right so, oh my goodness seriously And there goes that devil. I want one out of put that. I'm gonna keep it. Okay. So we have hanged man and the lovers here. So this could be the person. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. It's just an interruption here. This could be your person. I I think you have like um someone who is watching you. Because this hang, it just feels like there's someone who's constantly in their mind here about you with the lovers here. Um, you have Ace of Pentacles. There could be someone else in your heart, heart chakra and spiritual union. There could be someone else you're kind of entertaining. But then you've got this devil. Um, maybe you release someone because it kind of came out in the reverse. So maybe there's someone you release. So you've got, it for some of you, you've got two people here. You release someone who's attached to you. And a lot of you are very much in this, to me, this is the Nine of Pentacles in your passion, maybe meeting a lot of harmonized connections that are helping you more into the projects or just more in your work, or feeling more reignited. I just think you're feeling yourself. You're taking care of yourself, you know, very much Empress energy here. So let's pull, let's see what Spirit has here. I'm um, getting more of the sacrifice here. Why the hangman? So two of wands, eight of wands. So this is a decision here. I think I mean, there goes that nine of pentacles. I'm telling you guys and the fool. You need to start new here, Gemini. You're being led in a different direction. And there is a spiritual or a, a lover's, there's harmonized unions coming ahead. I think it's a lot of busy work here with the wands because the wands are action. So you standing as the nine of pentacles, you're just very busy. So I feel these are alignments that have to do with where you're heading. Um, and you're just doing you. There's a lot of stability coming ahead. There are just people or soulmates. And this in, in the midst of this, you might meet someone. Okay, more of this. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Something faded for sure. Something truly faded through my lover spirit. Wow. Oh my God. Talk about happiness. Nine of cups. Wow. Gemini, this is going to be something, you know, obviously I feel like this is not in your guys' energy yet, or maybe some of you have met this person already, but there is something, this is a turning phase in your life and this is moving into the, a really, really great emotional fulfilling direction okay more on this passion igniting it why the ace of wands and this person is going to be more either yeah page of wands i think it's someone that you're kind of going to be more in alignment in terms of your passions and what you guys do it's like a shared hobby or shared something um okay more on this ace of wands and you're just going to be really busy because there's a lot about actions here. Yeah, chariot with three of wands. So much to look forward to, Gemini. I'm loving this energy here. So this is about trusting the process um, for you. 
for sure. But this devil energy, someone's in your energy. Game around this heart chakra. You probably had a lot of healing because once you sound as strong as this Knight of Pentacles, yeah, the healing, Four of Cups judgment, you took care of yourself and all the work you've been doing here, um, Gemini, it's not going in vain. It's your turn. I'm really hearing what this judgment is. You've, you've done the work. It's your turn now. Six of Swords, yeah. But you got to protect yourself. So here's a Seven of Wands and Ten of Wands. So um, I guess as we get closer to this Devil Energy Spirit, give me more of the spiritual union. Why the Two of Cups? I mean, you got the Lovers and the Two of Cups in the reading, you guys. So something good is coming. High Priestess, yeah. A more spiritual connection. There also might be someone who um secretly is watching you with this high priestess so let me get some game on this high priestess doing something <sighs> maybe a surprise gemini wow two of pentacles <sighs> the sun and the emperor game on the high priestess jeez ten of swords so there's someone in the background um, Gemini, you've got someone in the background who can't seem to let you go. They know you're busy. They know you're doing your thing, five of wands, but they're not ready to cut you out. They're not ready. And they actually, I think they're struggling with the way you've been kind of isolated. I also feel this energy that they don't want you to move on from, from anyone else. So let's see what this devil is. Why the devil? Oh, yeah, no, look at that. Wow. Talk about watching you. Gemini, this person does not want you to have any options. They're watching you. Page of Swords, Devil. This person is definitely, they know what you're up to. Um, This may be an ex. Wow, Seven of Swords. This may be an ex who you definitely left. You walked away, a page of swords. It's wow, you guys. The fact that this energy is coming up, and I'm and I want to clarify, but this showed up so easily. Give me more on the seven of cups. Give me more on the seven of cups. Yeah, they can't get you out of their mind. Nine of swords. Give me more on this page of swords. The strength card, Leo energy. So you've got Cancer, Leo, Gemini here, um, Pisces. So Gemini, your person doesn't see, they don't see themselves. With, and what I'm getting with the strength card is like you're the only one who contained them. This seems like a very, um, this is a, a codependent person who just like doesn't know how to let you go. And they know that you will eventually move on. You've got a lot going on here. So I think, again, this is that interference. So this just feels like the interference here. Um, and you're definitely going to have to be very careful. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't pick up like really, I kind of, I, I pick up a little crazy energy here, you guys. I think your person's going a little crazy. Um, what is the blockage here, Spirit? What is the blockage for Gemini? Yeah, you're about you. You're, you're blocking this connection. Okay, we're on the blockage. You're about self-care. Find tools that might work. You're, you're, the blockage is because you're too busy taking care of yourself. They know that. You're not giving them the time of day. And rituals, yeah, practice processing old wounds and working through the rhythm creation. You're healing and they you've pulled back your um your energy, beautiful evolution. You're no longer that person. They don't even recognize you anymore and they don't like your change because they know that the more you're different, the more you're drifting. And this person knows they're going to lose you, which they will. You're going to meet um, someone more solid, I'm feeling here. Oof, look at how the devil shows up again. You're going to meet someone more solid, but this person doesn't want to let you go. Okay, we're on this Wheel of Fortune spirit. 
Lauren's Wheel of Fortune. Four of Pentacles. So you, it's it's a matter of not letting go. You got to let go. Um, Eight of Wands, right? And I think it's also a focus of stability. So letting go, but focusing on the things that keep you maintained. Don't let anyone shake you up, right? Keep to the plan. I'm also hearing four is about planning. Um, and eight of wands is movement. So it's also a lot about movement and planning. You're getting a lot of recognition, yeah, um, here. So some of you really are occupied with some really great work. Okay, we're on this nine of cups. Judgment, yeah, it's your turn. Okay, we're on this nine of cups. You've got judgment twice. And you've done the work and it's your turn for rewards. Queen of swords, yep. Yeah. Keep that, keep your energy protected here, I feel. Ten of Cups, yeah, because what's coming and what you've been planting, oh my God. <gasps> Gemini, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Ten of Cups. All of this is for you. This, you need to watch out. I feel like I want to pull something else for you guys because, oh yeah, this is what I'm going to ask. What is the energy? I've got two decks here. The energy of abundance here. What is this abundance coming in for Gemini? Spirit gives more guidance on this amazing abundance coming in for Gemini to protect. So have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept the assistance as well as give it to others as you're guided. So all this energy, I really feel a lot of this is like soulmate energy. This is like tribe energy that's going to help you elevate um, where you're heading to. These are good people. So along the way, you're going to meet a soulmate because you're aligning to a different path. It's leading to really, really a lot of abundance and take a divinely guided change. Beautiful. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. Yes, that's that fool and this nine of pentacles here. So, and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as, as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, this right here, but no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities, boom. I mean, trust me, this is, this is over. And don't let them interfere, Gemini, because you're, where you're heading to is just trust the process, it's worth waiting for. It's definitely soulmates that are aligned with you, tribes, people that are, you're gonna enjoy um, being around and just staying true to yourself, I really feel. So trust trust the guidance, I feel like you intuitively know. So here we have loss and you are allowed to mourn your losses and travel through the process of grief. And I feel like Gemini, you guys have been doing this. So this has been a process of grief, releasing this old person they still linger, but you're in this judgment here is for you to finally close this chapter, which is why we had the judgment here as well with the nine of cups, because you really have to cut away from the past. You're no longer, you don't need this. And these, whatever rituals, self-care, the rituals that you have to process old wounds and work through the rhythm of creation, because you're moving towards creation is exactly what they're trying to move you through as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you. It's not appropriate because where you're going is so much more better. So my Geminis, I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.